Hi, this is Prankish. I hope you all are doing great. In this video, I'm going to talk about the solution of sample set which is being provided by IGAD. So let's get started. So let's uh, move to the first question. This question says uh, find out the value of uh, we have to find the limit of the sequence and we have this function uh, here n is moving from 1 to 3. So we have five choices. So let's uh, simplify this function. So this will come out to be fn equals to 50 plus minus 1 to the power n and in the bracket here it is n is square upon 2n. So n, n gets a cancel out. Let's take half as common. So this will come out as 100 plus minus uh, 1 to the power n into n. Okay. So this is the simplified function. Now, in order to take the limit, the limit is extending to infinity. So this will come out to be half in a bracket 100 plus minus 1 to the power n into n. Okay. So half will come ahead and this will become extending to infinity in a bracket 100 plus minus 1 to the power n into n. The moment we put the limit, so it will come out to be uh, 100 plus minus 1 to the power infinity into infinity. See, uh, minus 1 to the power infinity is not defined. So this whole expression will not define. Okay. So this will diverge. Okay. By convergent and divergent principle. So the, here this option is none of the above. Okay, this will be your answer. Okay, let's move to the question number two. In this question, it is saying uh, fx is given as we have fx equals to x into log one plus x to the power minus one. Okay, we have to find the limit n tending to infinity. So limit extending to infinity n tending to infinity, and here. Here this should be x tending to infinity. Here it is x tending to infinity x into log 1 plus x to the power minus. So we can write it like that 1 plus x upon x. Further we can write it like that uh, limit x tending to infinity log 1 plus x whole upon 1 upon x. Okay. So here. Uh, if you put the limit, so this will become 0 by 0 form, which is indeterminate form, okay, indeterminate form. So in order to uh, solve this question, we have to apply L Hopital rule. Okay. So we'll differentiate the first uh, part that is numerator and then we'll differentiate the denominator. So this will uh, become 1 upon 1 plus x when we will further differentiate this 1 plus 1 upon x so this will come out to be minus 1 upon x square and the differentiation of this denominator function this will come out to be minus 1 upon x square this will get cancelled out now put the limit so this will be 1 plus 1 upon infinity 1 upon infinity is 0 and finally it is coming out to be 1 so option a is the right option let's move to the question number 3 in this, uh, it is asking about uh, the function fx equals to minus e to the power minus x. It is asking about the nature of the function. So here you can see that I have plotted all the four functions which are possible. So y equals to e to the power x. This green function represents y equals to e to the power x. Then the blue one represents y equals to e to the power minus x. Exact the mirror image uh, uh, about the uh, y-axis okay then we have drawn uh, this red function represents y equals to minus e to the power x this is the mirror image of this y equals to e to the power minus x about x axis and here the last function that is in orange color that is y equals to minus e to the power minus x so you can see that uh, this is in the shape of concave if uh, this was the shape so it should it will be convex so the upper uh, two function these two will be in the shape of convex okay but these two function will be in the shape of concave so here our function is the fourth one so this will be is in the shape of concave 
now let's move to the third question fourth question so here we have uh, fx it is given we have to find out the value of f inverse f of x so um, ideally we don't need to solve this question because here uh, f inverse of fx is always be x so this is the answer okay now let's move to the next question it is saying that uh, this is uh, your question number five it is saying that seven basketball team play league match against each other at the end of the season how many different it is saying different permutation so the question has clearly given the hint you have to use permutation are there for the top three teams in the ranking so we have to select let's say seven places are there and we have to select one two three four five six and seven okay so we have to only uh, fill the top three uh, teams in the ranking order okay so here this place can be filled by three uh, seven uh, ways this place can be filled by six ways this place can be filled by five so finally it is coming out to be seven into six five the thirty so it is two hundred and Alternatively, you can solve this function using permutation. So 7p3 will be the solution. This could be method two, method second, and this would be method one. Okay, so there are various methods uh, you can use for solving this. So this will come out to be factorial seven upon factorial seven minus three. So this is factorial seven upon factorial four. So this is seven into uh, six into five into factorial four. So upon factorial four, factorial four and factorial four gets cancelled out, and finally it is coming out to be two hundred. So option C is or three is the right option. Let's move to the next question, question number six. So it is saying six horses are running a race. Okay, how many different groups of horses could make up the three finishers? Okay, it is asking this. So simply by uh, choosing uh, from uh, six. Cases you can pick any three cases, so this will be the solution. So factorial six upon this will be factorial three and factorial six minus three. So finally, it is coming out to be factorial six upon factorial three into factorial three. So this is six five into four into factorial three upon factorial three into three into two. Okay. So three and factorial three and factorial three gets cancelled out. Three into two. Will be six. It is also cancel out and five into four, so it will be twenty. This is your answer. So option three is the right option. Now let's move to the next question. Question number seven. So here this is asking about what are the values of x that satisfy the equation that is x square plus four x plus three equals to zero. So so that's very easy question. Uh, by midterm splitting method you can solve this. So this will come out to be x square plus 3x plus 3 equals to 0. Now take x as common in first two term and take 1 as common in second two term. So x plus 3 you can take common. So this will come out to be x plus 3 and x plus 1 equals to 0. So finally it is coming out to be x minus 3 and minus 1. So option C is the right option. Now let's move to the question number 8. So in this it is uh, asking about the company's profit have doubled for each of the four years it has been in existence if the total profit of the last four years were rupees 30 million what were the profit in first year of operation so let's uh, profit in first year profit in first year bx so as it is doubling so profit in second year will be 2x similarly profit in third year will be three uh, four four x similarly profit in fourth year will be four to the eight so total profit total profit is eight four twelve twelve to six uh, fourteen or one fifteen so this is coming out to be fifteen since fifteen x equals to thirty million okay so 15 to the so x is coming out to be 2 million so this is what we have to find so answer is option 2 now let's move to the question number 9 
so here it is asking about uh, let uh, a and b are two determinant two matrices of three cross three order and determinant a is four and determinant b is three now they are asking about determinant twice of a b equals to x and uh, second thing we have to find determinant of three a b inverse equals to y okay so this is the value that is x and y we have to find okay so here we are going to use two property so determinant of k into a okay so this is equals to k to the power n into determinant of a here n is the order of matrix okay order of matrix so first thing that we are going to use and second thing the determinant of a inverse is one upon determinant of a. these two property needs to be used here so first let's talk about x equals to determinant of 2ab so by that property this will come out to be 2q and determinant of a into determinant of b okay remember this thing uh, determinant of a into b equals to determinant of a into determinant of b why here it is uh, 2 to the power 3 because the formula k to the power n k equals to 2 and n equals to order of the matrices 3 cross 3 so this will become 8 and determinant of a is 4 and determinant of b is 3 so 12 into 8 which is equals to 96 okay so we have two options this and this now let's move to the y part so this is determinant 3 a b inverse so this will come out to be 3 q that is determinant of a into determinant of b inverse so this is 27 and then determinant of a value is 4 and this will become 1 upon determinant of b so this will come out to be 27 into 4 into determinant of b is 1 upon 3 so this is 9 and 9 for the 36 so y is coming out to be 36 and x is coming out to be 96 so 96 and 36 option 3 is the right option and let's move to the last question so in this question they are asking about uh, find the area of a triangle whose vertices are you can see that the vertices are from three dimensional space so ideally to solve this question we have to use vector uh, technique okay so for that the if let's say this is point a b c so you have to find vector a b and then you have to find vector a c okay and after that the area of triangle a b c will come out to be half and magnitude of a b cross a c so you uh, after finding this you will find the cross product then you will find the magnitude okay so this is first second and then third so let's find the vector a b so vector a b will come out to be o b minus o a okay so here you have to find the vector a b first so which can be find out through a o b minus o a so o b vector is 2 i cap plus j cap minus k cap and o a vector is i cap minus j cap plus 2 k cap. so finally it is coming out to be i cap and uh, plus 2 j cap and then it will come out to be minus 3 k cap okay now we have to find a c vector so a c vector will come out to be o c minus o a okay so this is coming out to be 3 i cap minus j cap plus 2 k cap okay then minus it will come out to be what uh, i cap minus j cap plus 2 k cap on solving you will get uh, 2 i cap and this will become 0 k j cap and this will also become 0 k cap so now third thing we have to find a b cross a c so to do that we have to form this determinant i cap minus j cap and k cap so value of i j k is 1 2 3 minus 3 and here it is 2 0 0 so this will come out to be i cap and this will be 0 minus 0 and minus j cap and then it will come out to be 0 minus 6 and this will become plus 6 and plus k cap and this will come out to be 0 minus 
Okay. So in solving, you will get uh, zero i cap minus six j cap plus this will be minus four k cap. Now we have to find the magnitude of AV cross AC. So this will be under root minus six square and plus this will come out to be minus four square. So this will come out to be 36 plus 16, which is root 52. Now the area of triangle ABC is half and this amplitude of AB cross AC. Okay. So this will come out to be what? Half under root 52. Further you can solve it. Root 52 upon 4. Okay. So on solving this, you will get root 30. So this will be your answer. So let's go by the choices. So option B is the right option. Okay. So that's all from my side. If you're preparing for IGIDI 2021 exam, you can join this channel and like this video and share it with your friend. Also subscribe to the channel for more updates. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you.